Exobionics develops and manufactures powered exoskeleton bionic devices that can be strapped on as wearable robots to enhance the strength, mobility, and endurance of soldiers and paraplegics. These robots have a variety of applications in the medical, military, industrial, and consumer markets. It enables individuals with any amount of lower extremity weakness, including those who are paralyzed, to stand up and walk. The company's first commercially available product is called Exo. Exobionics is the original developer of HULC, now under military development by Lockheed Martin, and the current developers of Exo, formerly a legs, which allows wheelchair users to stand and walk. Exo was selected as Wired Magazine's number two most significant gadget of 2010, and was included in Time Magazine's. 50 Best Innovations of 2010. Exobionics was also featured in Inc. Magazine as one of five big ideas for the next 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Background The company was founded in 2005 under the name of Berkeley Exoworks by Homeyun Kazaruni, Russ Angold and Nathan Harding, all members of the Berkeley Robotics and Human Engineering Laboratory at the University of California. Berkeley Exoworks introduced ExoHiker and ExoClimber, both with a weight carrying capacity of 150 pounds. In 2007, the company changed its name from Berkeley Exoworks to Berkeley Bionics. Berkeley Bionics developed an untethered, hydraulically powered exoskeleton they called the Human Universal Load Carrier, HULC, and which could carry heavier loads than the previous models. The HULC system was announced publicly at the ASA Winter Symposium on February 26, 2009 when an exclusive licensing agreement was reached with Lockheed Martin. Berkeley Bionics also debuted a legs, an intelligent, bionic exoskeleton that allows wheelchair users to stand and walk. In 2011 Berkeley Bionics changed its name again, to its current name Exo Bionics. It also changed the name of a legs to Exo. In 2012, Exo suits were registered as a Class L device for hospital use in the U.S., and received a CE marking from the EU in 2013. Exo Bionics added variable assist, an intelligent and adaptive software providing the ability to provide adaptive amounts of power to either side of the body, making them unique in the field of medical exoskeletons. In 2014, Exo Bionics became a public company. In 2015, Exo Bionics began to to develop new market with industrial prototype. Continues to expand into leading rehabilitation hospitals. In 2016, Exo Bionics appointed Thomas Luby interim chief executive officer. Continues commercialization drive. Topic: <laughs> Products. Topic. HULC In 2009 Berkeley Bionics unveiled HULC, which stands for Human Universal Load Carrier. HULC is a more sophisticated and capable development of the above projects. It can carry a 200-pound load, and reduces the metabolic energy needed by the wearer to perform a given task. In this way the device can significantly increase the range and length of tasks the wearer can perform. In particular, HULC has potential military uses, and in 2009 a licensing and development agreement was reached with Lockheed Martin. HULC lends itself to augmentation with devices that can be mounted on the back of its exoskeleton. One such device, the lift assist device, lets operators carry front loads as well as loads on their back. It also allows single operators to lift heavy loads that currently require two or more people. Topic: <laughs> Exo or a legs. In 2010 Berkeley Bionics unveiled a LEGS, which stands for Exoskeleton Lower Extremity Gate System. 
A legs is another pneumatically powered exoskeleton system, and allows paraplegics to stand and walk with crutches or a walker. The computer interface uses force and motion sensors to monitor the user's gestures and motion, and uses this information to interpret the intent of the user and translate it into action. Users can put on and take off the device by themselves as well as walk, turn, sit down, and stand up unaided. In 2011 a legs was renamed EXO. EXO weighs 45 pounds 20 kilograms, has a maximum speed of 2 miles per hour 3.2 kilometers per hour and a battery life of 6 hours. It is suitable for users weighing up to 220 pounds, who are between 5 feet 2 inches and 6 feet 4 inches tall and can transfer themselves from a wheelchair to a chair. It allows the user to walk in a straight line, stand from a sitting position, stand for an extended period of time, and sit down from a standing position. In 2013 the next generation EXO GT with Smart Variable Assist marketed as Smart Assist outside the U.S. software was released. It is the only exoskeleton available for rehabilitation institutions that can provide adaptive amounts of power to either side of the patient's body, challenging the patient as they progress through their continuum of care. The suit's patented technology provides the ability to mobilize patients earlier, more frequently and with a greater number of high-intensity steps. April 1, 2016 The FDA cleared the ExoGT to be used with stroke patients and spinal cord injury patients up to level C7 Asia D classification. They are the first and only exoskeleton company to be able to provide a rehabilitative exoskeleton for the stroke population. In 2017 Exo Bionics released Smart Assist software in the U.S. which is an upgrade to the Variable Assist software. Smart Assist allows for pre-gait activities in addition to gait training as well as advanced gait training techniques. The software upgrade also included updates for ease of use and to keep track of each patient's settings via a specific patient ID number. Exo Bionics also launched Exo Pulse which is a way to metrically track a patient's progression over the course of their rehab treatment via an online portal at the Exo Bionics website. Topic. See also Cyberdyne Rehabilitation Robotics Rewalk HAL robot Topic Notes Topic Other References Topic External Links The Next Step in Bionics CBS News, 9 October 2011. Wearable Robot Helps Paralyzed Detroit Firefighter Walk, Fox News, 6 January 2012. Making Strides 60 Minutes, Australian TV, 5 August 2011. Our Exoskeletons. Ablyst. Institute for Ethics and Emerging Technologies, 28 January 2012. Audio interview with Russ Angold, co-founder and CTO of Exobionics Robots podcast the 25th of July 2014.